Right there, guys. I haven't even pressed record. There we go. Now we're recording. Uh, <laughs> right then. And Ellie's just recently had her coach call with me like last week. We've sent her forms up this evening. So she will be getting up and running very, very soon. Um, <clears throat> obviously, Ollie, Jess, you guys have kind of sent your forms in. You're all affiliated, all sorted now as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys have got any questions kind of relating to anything at all across the board, whether it's Alicia and Ellie that are brand new, anything that's kind of playing on your mind or you two, feel free to jump out and let me know whenever. Okay. <laughs> Rightio then. Um, screen share, that's what I want. Right then guys, so I'm going to jump into a screen share with you. And um, so today what we're going to talk about is all the stuff that's kind of like under the surface of having an online business or running an online business with the CEO movement. Um, I haven't even changed Laura's name to mine, but <laughs> I am Millie. <really. laughs> and um, so today what we're going to talk about is uh, morning and evening routines, day-to-day -day kind of activities and things to do um reading so the kind of recommended reading and kind of beyond that as well and then also kind of like fan page content will go through as well so getting stuck into routines um i know kind of like for you girls that have got little ones it can be quite difficult to get yourself into a routine when you're trying to get like babies into routines as well and young children into routines um, so completely understand if you guys can't kind of like get a solid routine in place every single day, you need to find something that kind of like works for you, whether kind of, I don't know, you do things whilst the baby naps or whilst yeah. your young ones are at school, etc. Um, that's absolutely fine as well. It's just kind of like what works for you guys. But for me, what I found is uh, a morning routine really helps me kind of like set myself up for the rest of the day. It helps me focus on what I need to get done during that day because I'm quite a bit of a like, I don't know, away with the fairies. Like She's if I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not doing it. I am. <laughs> if I haven't got a checklist or bullet points to tick off, I'll sit and watch The Bachelorette all day. <laughs> if any of you watch <laughs> um so what we kind of like found for ourselves that like we do it in the morning what works for us is we tend to do kind of like because we still try and get maximum sleep in we tend to do like 10 minutes of meditation when we first get up um and then we write in kind of like we've got our own kind of individual gratitude journals and if any of you have started reading the magic, I know kind of like the first, I think it's the first day or first few days, say, um, to do like write 10 things you're grateful for in the morning. Um, and something I recently kind of like spoke with Harriet about on a, on a mastermind, the UK mastermind, was that she would kind of write between three and five, which again is great. That's what works for her. But it made me realise that like sometimes I sit there and I'm trying to think of things I'm grateful for and I want it to be quite, quite a natural process. Um, so I've kind of like given myself a little bit of slack. I don't have a set kind of like write 10 or write 5 or write 3. I just kind of like write as many as I'm feeling that morning. And usually it will depend on kind of like the meditation I've done if it's sunny or raining outside it can depend on like so many things if we've woke up early or late <laughs> um so many things it can depend on but i tend to kind of write up to 10 i never really write any more than 10 things i'm grateful for of the morning uh, but again they can literally be anything like you can be grateful for the sun because it's shining and it helps you feel more positive when you wake up uh you can be grateful for the meditation you've just listened to or you can be grateful for the kind of like good night's sleep that you've had. Um, so yeah, I think that gratitude really helps me kind of like be in the moment and just kind of like, I don't know, realise what you've actually got to be happy and grateful for. Um, Oliver or Jess, have you guys kind of like implemented meditation? Well, not necessarily meditation for you, Ali but um, meditation or gratitude or anything like that into your morning routines? I've 
just finished um, reading the magic. Have you finished? Yeah. Ah. So did you I've, I've, or did you cheat? No, no, I did every single day as it said it to do it. And you didn't have to go back three days once? No. Bloody hell, Jess. What a legend. <laughs> I know, right? I was so <laughs> proud of myself. Um, so how did um, you find it kind of like start to finish? It was good. I did notice a lot of things, um, like the book even said, that you'd notice. So that was good. Um, the one thing I did find slightly difficult was coming up with the 10 things to be grateful for in the morning. Yeah. And I didn't know whether I had to have them something different or if I could have something the same each day. I did manage, I think, to have something different. So I've got 280 different things to be grateful for in my gratitude journal. And I don't know how I did it. It's crazy, isn't but it? I did. Yeah. Well, well done. That's really, really good. Um, I personally haven't made it all the way through the magic, which is why I'm so shocked that you managed to do it all. Um, that's just because I start reading it and then I miss a day and I go back three days and then I'll start reading it again and then I have to go back in like nine days and I'm like no <laughs> so I've never got to the end of it so I'm proud of you <laughs> yeah, yeah I just read lots just each day and then I was like oh I've got to read it I I did read the following day the night before yeah just in case because even though it didn't say to I did find but it should have said read it the night before. Mm, I know a few of them do. Uh, yeah. when I was reading it, one or two said kind of like read tomorrow now or read tonight this morning or something like that every now and then. But I, suppose, yeah, I think it would yeah. work better to read every one that way because some of them are just like, oh, yeah, tomorrow you're going to have to do this. Like today you've got to do this. And you think I ain't got time for that. I'm up at half past five. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um but yeah it is it is a really really good book and as I say kind of with the same as like the meditation gratitude really kind of puts you in the moment and puts your head in the right kind of mind frame to just kind of like crack on with the day and be grateful for what you have got um Ollie have you been putting any certain things into your kind of morning routines uh, yes yeah, so talking about meditation <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I still signed up to David Caldicott's uh, Gorilla Zen Yoga Crash Course, and he was like, you need to meditate before you do this. I was like, oh, great, here we go. Um, <laughs> so he recommended Headspace, and actually that's been going okay because it literally keeps it to three minutes. Okay. For me, like, if I go any longer than three minutes, then I get a little bit frustrated, I think, with meditation, but it's, and it has been okay, and it just gives you, like, I guess three minutes of at least calmness, um yeah. and a little bit of grounding and i guess when you were talking about obviously people who have children and, and stuff to look after three minutes is quite bite size um and it does that for about 10 days but then i think you have to pay for the app um the other thing i've been trying to do is get sunlight within 30 minutes of waking like actually get out into the sun because i was doing some research on how that affects well particularly because I have chronic fatigue on how that f affects chronic fatigue and things like that as well. But I think that is beneficial for anybody, even if they have like any sort of issues to just get natural sunlight as soon as possible as well. So that was something I was doing. And I found that that puts me in a better mood for the rest of the day too. Ah, that's really interesting. Um, I think the natural sunlight thing is actually really good. Um, point to just the, get the, out. So the science behind natural sunlight as soon as you wake up is, um, so if you lay in bed and then you like close your eyes again, you start producing endorphin, uh, not endorphin, melatonin again. So you start producing sleep hormone. So from that point on in the day, you're actually like drowsy, drowsy and feeling shit. So if you if you just act, like expose your eyes to sunlight or any type of light immediately, your body starts producing like energy instead, and you feel pumped <clears> for the rest of the day. Yeah, so Ali, when it's cold, instead of going outside, I'm just going to stare at the light bulb. <laughs> like, or you could just, oh, you don't need to in this room. It's like waking up yeah, in heaven every morning. Yeah, it is, morning. to be honest. <laughs> my blind basically does nothing, and the sunrise is pretty much in front of my window, so I'm like, oh. Um, it's very bright. Um, 
Right then, so um, affirmations. Uh, for me, I found that these were really good when I first got started in terms of kind of like changing my mindset towards what I could do. So I could be quite kind of like, I was never really like a completely negative person, but I could be kind of like self demeaning. Is that the right word that we used yesterday, Ollie? Uh, <laughs> so like I'd kind of like, I don't know, I'd always think, oh, I really want to do that, but it's not for me. It's for all those other people that work online that look really cool and have all these tattoos and have the perfect tan skin and all this jazz. And um, I just kind of like, I just didn't really believe in myself. So the self affirmations for me really, really helped. Um, so I think if you guys have any kind of like self doubt or any kind of like bits of kind of negativity that you want to kind of like wash out of your mind, um, affirmations are a really good kind of tool to use. And I just started with really, really easy ones. I started with kind of like things I knew about myself. Um, so like, I don't know, you are happy, you are kind, you are beautiful, you are confident and things that kind of like I already knew, but just needed reminding of every now and then. And I read in the hero. Yeah, it's the hero. I read in the hero that the best time to kind of, when you're first starting out with affirmations, the first, like the best time to do them is just before you go to sleep. Because your body's starting to like shut down your mind isn't kind of like fighting your thoughts. So if you think kind of like, if you've had a bad day and you're sat there and you're thinking, I am confident, I am happy, your mind isn't going, no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not, because it's too tired to do that. It's started shutting down already. Um, so yeah, the best time to kind of like do affirmations when you're first getting started is probably of an evening. Um, but it's definitely something worth kind of putting into your morning routines as well to set you up for the day. <clears throat> and then finally um what kind of like where is this where is this from kind of like rob ryan everyone will talk about um and it's within kind of like the coaching questionnaire you guys done when you first got started is describe the perfect kind of day in your life sort of thing or a day that you kind of dream of um and that kind of comes in with the visualization and your goals. So again, I kind of like took some time out and wrote down the perfect day um, in around kind of like six months, like almost like a goal for me, something I'm striving towards. Um, but yeah, I say up as like a visualization. So kind of touching on all of the senses. So what do you hear? What do you see? What do you smell? What do you feel? Um, what can you taste? <clears throat> and just touching on those so it feels really real to you and the trick to these is kind of like reading it every single day at least once um, and that's again so it's kind of like if you guys know about the law of attraction already you're kind of like putting it out there to the universe and um, it's just kind of like affirming that that's what you want that's your goal that's what you're kind of working towards um, but yeah, the goal is to kind of like read that every single day. Anybody else do this? I do. Tom does. <laughs> um, to be to be honest, we've been a little bit naughty the past week or so. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we, uh, we haven't really done our morning routine. And if I'm completely honest, like I can tell. Because like I just get up a little bit more like lethargic every morning and I'm not really kind of prepared or ready for the day. Um, and it has kind of like affected me negatively not to have one in place. So it's really interesting because kind of like when you don't have one, you don't know what you're missing because you've never experienced a morning routine. But when you do a morning routine and then you fall out of it for whatever reason, um, you start to realise kind of <clears throat> how bad your habits were before having a morning routine as well. Um, so I definitely kind of like recommend, and I was, I was speaking to Ollie yesterday, uh, we had like a little mini mastermind call situation. And, um, I was saying that when I first started kind of looking at morning routines and getting into one, I would just kind of, I spent kind of like a week adding, um, things up. So I spent some time just doing like meditation in the morning as well. 
Um, so I'd wake up, I'd do meditation and then I'd get on with the day. And then the following kind of week or within a couple of days, I'd wake up, I'd do meditation and I'd do my gratitude journal. And then the following week, I'd do my meditation, do my gratitude, do my affirmations. And I kind of built it up because it was easier for me to kind of like get used to one thing, like adding one thing into my day, as opposed to kind of just waking up and trying to get all of these things in in the morning before you're rushing off somewhere. Um, so yeah, that's how I kind of felt best to implement them into my life. Again, you guys might have different ways um, that you look at getting those kind of into your day-to-day -day life. And however it works for you, uh, it's definitely worth kind of like documenting on your fan pages and stuff like that. And just kind of like explaining the benefits of a morning routine, how difficult or how easy it was to get into a morning routine. And just really kind of like, um, we'll talk, talk a little bit more about kind of your fan page a little bit later on, but really just being you but on a fan page. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's definitely worth something that's quite interesting and quite good to kind of document on your fan page as well. Right then. I also, um, I completely didn't even touch on that little visual I've got on the side. Uh, <laughs> we don't touch our phones until after this morning routine is complete. So of an evening, um, me and Tom usually kind of like an hour before we go to sleep. Uh, we'll put our phones on aeroplane mode and then we'll just kind of like spend some time together, uh, chill out. And then when we wake up in the morning, we'll do all of this kind of routine that I've got set out here. And then kind of as Tom walks out the door for work, I'll switch my phone off aeroplane mode. And then that's when I'll kind of respond to messages, etc. Uh, and that's just because... When you first wake up in the morning, if the first thing you're doing is kind of like picking up your phone, looking at Facebook, looking at text messages, however that person that's kind of like messaged you or wrote on Facebook or kind of interacted with you in any way feels, those are the emotions that you pick up straight away in the morning. So if you see someone on your newsfeed like Aunt Sally that you don't really like at the top of your newsfeed on a morning, Monday morning, you're going to be like, oh God. <laughs> and that feeling then sticks with you kind of like throughout the day so my best advice is to kind of like wake up get your head in the right frame of mind sort yourself out and then just kind of like spend some time by yourself it seems crazy because we don't really do it in the modern world we're so connected online that we never really disconnect so just kind of like spend half an hour an hour just like doing your own thing and then switch your phone off airplane mode. Uh, it's quite a gruelling task to start with. I'd literally like have my hand like crawling to my phone, like please phone. <laughs> um, but it gets easier. <laughs> right then. This is the only thing with Prezi. I love a Prezi, but you can never work it ever. Always breaks on me. There we go. Right then. Um, so evening routines, uh, there's not too much in an evening routine for me, uh, just because I like to sleep. So as soon as I get into bed, I'm like, right, I'm going to bed. <laughs> but the most important things are, um, to put my phone on airplane mode as I just kind of explained the benefits of it in the morning, um, of an evening, it's good just to kind of like have that time to relax. It will help you sleep as well. Help you sleep better because... If you're staring at a phone right until you're like ready to fall asleep, kind of like your mind's still ticking away on random things and it just really does kind of like help you sleep just to disconnect from your phone for a little bit. Um, like read, uh, whether, like I don't know, it depends how much you want to read and what you're reading because like the magic, like kind of me and Jess were just saying, like it's good to read in the morning of an evening um sometimes they tell you to read of an evening <clears throat> other times you might find that kind of like you're reading throughout the day um so you might not necessarily have reading in your evening routine <clears throat> but again it's good just to kind of like disconnect from a phone and pick up an actual book and just kind of like focus on that um so downtime kind of comes in with my like reading it's just time to chill out disconnect from phones um maybe do a bit of meditation or like if you guys have heard of like delta waves or 
Beta waves. Beta waves. Um, and just kind of like put a bit of that on overnight to kind of listen to as you sleep. I personally just kind of like stick it on my TV. You can see it over here. <laughs> I just stick it on YouTube on my TV. Um, and usually I just select kind of like a meditation or a delta wave that has a black screen just because I'm quite funny with lights whilst I'm sleeping. Um, don't like lights on. Um, Unless it's in the morning, then you can't shift her. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I use a dark screen um, meditations or kind of like delta, beta yeah. waves. There you go, you got them. Hey. Uh, there's some other kind of like waves that you can listen to. Um, I definitely recommend kind of like delta or theta waves to begin with uh, before you guys start like experimenting with all kinds of crazy noises to get you to sleep. <laughs> uh, do any of you guys, Ollie, Jess or kind of the girls already have anything in place that, I don't know, kind of is a little bit of like a wind down before you go to bed just to help you relax at all? I am, was it you start talk, saying about the meditations? Yes. I have downloaded that. Ah, okay, and, that's good. Um, Ali was talking to me about Delta Waves as well. Yeah. Because um, I don't sleep ever. Like, oh, I love sleep. love it. It's so much passion. <laughs> I don't sleep. Oh, no. How, you, how have you found kind of like the meditations and the Delta Waves? I could feel them, uh -huh. which was odd. Like my <laughs> partner was like laid next to me. I'm like, can you feel that? He's going, what are you doing? Like, what is wrong with you? I'm going, can you not feel that? He's going, just go to sleep. <laughs> oh, bless you. Jessica, but, yeah. have you downloaded something? Yeah, um, it was like an app called Meditations. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. And I think, what's the one called then? Right on my phone somewhere i've got so many apps everywhere <laughs> there's another uh, one um called calm c-a-l-m there's another fantastic one called youtube <laughs> <laughs> as blunt as ever <laughs> yeah never heard of youtube <laughs> no <Me. Bye. laughs> um yeah the other one was just called delta wave and it's just um, got like different okay. delta waves and other initialed waves on it thanks jessica thank you <laughs> um with the uh meditations alicia i really liked it um i used to use it all the time um but i really liked it because you can set kind of like a meditation to get you to sleep mm -hmm. um and you can also set one to wake you up in the morning so it's almost like an alarm meditation so it's quite nice. Good to yeah, kind of like trial you. run as well. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, I tend to just kind of pop my TV on on YouTube and um, listen to Delta Waves on YouTube just because they do like eight hours or something long. So I'm just oh. like, okay, then. <laughs> my TV turns off before I wake up, but <laughs> God knows how long they're on for. <laughs> right then, guys, we'll move on. Here we go. So, um day to day kind of like your first kind of getting up and running um obviously kind of work your way through module one as soon as possible all of you guys that are on the call today have done already um continue through to the other modules uh, i get a lot of people messaging me saying like oh i've booked my coaching call um what do i do now and I'm like, just, just carry on through, kind of like have a look around, make sure all that he's going to do is like deepen your understanding of the whole community and kind of what we do. Um, so definitely kind of if anyone's, um, Alicia, if you're kind of like got nothing to do till tomorrow, have a look through, see how you're feeling about the rest of the modules. Okay. Um, always, always, always just stay in touch with your coach. Um, I can't say this enough. Sometimes... Uh, you guys will kind of like have an issue or a problem or you're a little bit confused or concerned about something and like your coach doesn't know that unless you tell them 
Um, nobody is a mind reader yet that I've I come am. across. I am. He's not. From working in IT, you have to be a mind reader <laughs> because everyone just tells you it's broken. They don't tell you what's wrong. It's just broken. Then you must be the best boyfriend ever. Well, what can well. I say? <laughs> Um, but yeah so definitely just kind of like keep in touch with your coach if you've got any questions just ask um and yeah that's my best advice kind of even kind of throughout working together for many years to come just stay in touch basically um and to attend all masterminds so we have obviously tonight's call at eight we have a call tomorrow night at eight as well for the UK masterminds. And we also have the Sunday global masterminds at 5 PM UK. Um, and yeah, kind of there's good content kind of throughout all of them. If you can't get on them live, obviously uh, not everyone can just make sure you catch up with the replays. Uh, Cause a lot of the time, kind of the questions that you have either have been asked on a mastermind they've already been answered on a mastermind or they've been covered. Um, so yeah, just kind of like catch up with those just so that you know exactly what you're doing. Oh, I love this little arrow. I don't know when that appeared. <laughs> um, and kind of beyond week one. So after you've completed week one, what do you do then? <laughs> wow. From then on. Um, make sure that you kind of stay focused, stay organized. I have kind of like a book for my goals. So in one book I have goals, gratitude and visualization. In another book I have kind of like, um, that's my diary. So I have kind of weekly, monthly, yearly plans in that one. Um, I have a book for coaching call notes. So as I'm on the phone to you guys, I'll kind of scribble notes down. That's my coaching call book. I have a book for masterminds. I got books for everything. So <laughs> just make sure you guys stay organized because if everything's in one book, you'll spend your lifetime like flicking through like, oh my God, where's that gone? Um, so yeah, just try and stay as organized as you can. Um, and whether that means getting a big massive wall planner, getting a little calendar, a to-do list, a whiteboard, whatever it is that's going to kind of help you collect your four thoughts and focus your mind do it <clears throat> um keep learning so the great thing with us kind of like working online is it is ever changing so you're never going to get bored there's always something to do or another target or kind of different ways that people are marketing so there's always something to learn so just make sure that you guys have kind of like had a look at all the training videos. Obviously at the moment we're going through um, a rebranding. So all of the training videos will be updated soon anyway. So if you guys will kind of need to like have a look through those preferably just so that you know exactly what your new members are looking at when they come through as well. So when they've got a question, they say, oh, it's module one, video three you've got no idea what module one video three is. So just make sure that like you're catching up with those new training materials so that you can help the newest member as well. Um, and yeah, just kind of like keep reading and keep listening to audios and keep developing yourself as much as you do your business. Um, as you kind of like, uh, Jess and Oliver as you kind of like start running ads and everything your day-to-day -day tasks will be kind of checking running creating ads anyway um, which will definitely keep you busy and responding to messages <laughs> um, obviously last week our mastermind was on kind of like responding to people's messages and questions um, before they get up and running uh, so Alicia, if um, you want to catch up with that at some point, and we can obviously still have a call anyway to discuss how you speak to kind of people that ask you questions and things you're unsure of. Wow, that's really good. I didn't even touch the mouse. You didn't touch either, did you? Is it from Laurie? We've got a ghost. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I swear that's on Zoom. That's on the... Um... Right there. Let me see if Zoom does red. 
Yeah, it's Zoom. It's a ghost. Okay, guys, we got a ghost. Um, otherwise, in other news. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just kind of like going back to um, masterminds again, if you've got a question, I know the guys covered it on last week's global call, but basically if you kind of search within the Facebook groups, the question's probably been asked like a thousand times. Um, and if it hasn't, absolutely pop your comment in there. Uh, but on the top kind of search bar, you can just kind of write, I don't know, if you just write routines for like morning or evening routines, you'd have kind of a bunch of responses come up that people have already asked for um and again the same with the masterminds if you have a look through the old masterminds and just look at the titles i always title them uh the uk masterminds you'll be able to see what content is covered in every one of them and if it's something you feel you need to kind of work on you can just kind of pick that one mastermind up um i don't expect you guys to kind of watch every single mastermind we've ever done <laughs> oh it doesn't like me now. Oh man. Do you know what it is? It's because I've clicked Zoom. So now it's like Prezi doesn't want to be my friend. There we go. Come on, Prezi. <laughs> there we go. Right then. So reading. Jess, have you done all three of these books now? Have you just read the magic? I've read the magic. I've got the other two and another like six other random. I'm not even sure of the titles anymore. I just <laughs> all the books that everyone up. says is a good idea to read, so you just buy them yeah. all. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm just like, oh, they said that one. I'll get that too. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if there's like a deal on somewhere like Amazon or something like three for however much you're like, wow, I'm just going to keep yeah. buying books. <laughs> yeah. I have to buy, like, if there's a series as well, if I want, like, Obviously, with magic, it was really difficult not to buy the entire lot. Yeah. Because I, I always buy in series, not buy one book. Yeah. It's one go as well. So, like. So, did you I just buy the magic? I did, but I'm going back to the rest of them. <laughs> um, well, I don't, I've not read The Secret, but The Secret is um, on Netflix at the moment. Uh, it's about an hour long. Um, that's a good kind of watch. And it serves you kind of like two weeks or something reading the book uh, but yeah the secret was really good just to kind of like watch uh, I'm quite a visual person so it helps me to kind of like soak something in visually um, the hero you haven't watched the secret have you so the secret is basically like a lot of really really kind of successful people talking about how the law of attraction has helped their life so the hero is kind of written the way the secret is filmed. So it's a lot of kind of like quotes throughout the book constantly, <coughs> which is great, but it's not really got, for me, it didn't feel like it had much substance. It was just like quote, 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 quote. Um, so definitely kind of like I'd pre like have a look through them, go into a shop or something and just see how you feel about them before purchasing, I'd say. Um, you do that with like Waterstones, it's got a cost to upstairs. And they've got seats, so I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just take this one upstairs for a little bit. <laughs> That's a yeah. posh water stones. <laughs> it is. The big one. Um, I think the hero as well, like, it's basically about the hero's journey, and that can be, you can go online and Google that and get it, like, on a little animation on YouTube or something like that. Because I found that with the hero was, like, it was very disjointed with all these people yeah. talking about things and it was it did lack a little bit of substance i guess yeah but basically it's all it's just really teaching about the concept of the hero's journey and the or like 12 stages or how 16 however many stages there are in it um and there's some pretty cool animations on youtube that sum that up pretty well mm -hmm. so i might actually check those out ollie because um, there's, there's a guy I might pop his link to you, I can't remember, and he uses the hero's journey as a coaching technique as well. Oh, okay, that's quite good. And he structures questions around each stage of the hero's journey. Um, yeah. I don't have it here. I had it somewhere. Um, but, like, I can pop you a link for that as well because I found that that was really interesting. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. That. Um, I've not personally read Power. Have you read Power? No, I haven't read Power. No, no. I haven't read Power either. I read maybe the, the power is all about love. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's all about, as in the power, the most powerful thing in the universe. And mm. it's about love. 
I didn't really get into it either. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, to be fair, I quite like the magic, um, the pages I did read, because it was like a daily thing. So it was good that it was like short and kind of to the point and snippets mm. of kind of information. Um, but yeah, the hero I just found quite difficult to kind of like absorb because it was like, and it was all people I didn't know as well. <laughs> Like I ended up spending most of my time like researching the people who the quotes were off because I was like, who actually is this person? <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're, they're good books, but I definitely kind of like, I'd personally say take some time to just kind of have a look through them whilst kind of looking for books first, uh, just to see if it's something that you'd be able to read. Um, but yeah, Think and Grow Rich, uh, Happy Bucket Full of Money and The Magic. So they are the powerful threesome. Um, and generally they just kind of like, they're the three books that are recommended to begin with because obviously Think and Grow Rich um, introduces you to the power of kind of like desire and thought and how thought affects action. Um, so that's kind of like what Think and Grow Rich introduces you to. Happy Pocket Full of Money will help kind of like your relationship with money at the moment. So whether that be like really positive or really negative or just neutral, um, me and Ollie again were speaking yesterday and um, I can kind of speak for us both when my upbringing and my kind of thought around money was never kind of money is happiness. Like, yeah, money will get you a lot of things, but my mum's motto was always, so long as we've got each other, that's all that we need. Um and it was very much kind of like money doesn't grow on trees. So it's all those little things that like, I'm not necessarily negative about money, but that's what's kind of drilled into me from a young age is that I don't need money where to some extent to attract money and to get more money, you have to need and want money. If that makes sense. So anyway, the happy pocket full, follow, blah, the happy pocket full of money will kind of help your relationship with money. And the magic kind of, as we've discussed throughout, is just kind of about being grateful for what you've got now um, and attracting all the, all the good and best things in life. Um, so yeah, they're the magic threesome. Um, I personally, uh, for you ladies, book I love is, and Ollie, because I know Ollie wants to read it, uh, <laughs> is um, You Are a Badass. It was the book I was reading before I joined CEO um, and it was probably the the thing that made me join CEO if I'm honest um, I brought the book kind of when I was in I think I was in Malaysia and I was flying to Singapore or something I brought it anyway in an airport in Asia and I really liked the cover of it I'd actually seen a few reviews of it online I thought you know what I kind of want to read this so I picked it up and for six months I didn't touch it. It was literally six months. Yeah. I didn't touch the book at all. It sat on my kind of dresser and I just didn't even look at it. Um, and then I kind of got to one day and I thought, you know what, I'm going to read it. And I was feeling a little bit deflated. And as soon as I started reading it, I was hooked. Um, so yeah, it's definitely kind of like my top recommended book. Uh, it just really kind of helps explain kind of the basics of probably all three of these books kind of combined. And it's just, it's really easy kind of like to introduce yourself to kind of the law of attraction and everything like that. Um, and it's just dead kind of um, laid back and straight to the point. My little brother actually brought me for my birthday this year a, um, a badass button. So it's part, it's part of the book thing. So this is my badass button. And it just sits on my desk and like... Do what you love. If you press it, it like talks to you. You create your reality. I'm gonna keep Feed going. fear a suck it sandwich. You are a badass. So um, this is my little badass burn. Um, but yeah, I definitely 100% recommend reading that. And they, she has a kind of sequel now for Jess that loves her series. Um, that's all to do with money. So it says you're a badass at making money. Um, so yeah, depending on how you get on with a happy pocket full of money, you might find you're a badass at making money a little bit easier to read perhaps. Um, and it's just cause she's dead, like she's dead relaxed about everything. She's really kind of simple, straight to the point. 
um, quite funny throughout it as well. Um, so it just makes it a really easy read. Uh, yeah, so that's my recommendation for You Are a Badass. And it's written by a woman as well, so it's just more feminine. <laughs> girl power and all that. I know Ollie loves the girl power, so it's fine. I'm not offending him. <laughs> I'm offended. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right then, so um, fan page content. Jess, tell me how you get on with your fan page. So I, right, I've got fan pages everywhere. Fan pages everywhere. Yeah, where's, where's, where's everywhere? <laughs> there's this one on Twitter. There's one on Instagram. There's one on Facebook. There's, oh, yeah, I'm putting them everywhere. Getting around, are we? Eh? I am. I am. I can't help it. <laughs> um, I haven't actually personally set up a um a Twitter. I've not. Well, I used it probably about five years ago, twice, and then I just left it. Yeah, I did have a personal one, then I thought, I can't remember the password to that, I'll just do another one. Oh, okay. How do you find it? Do you share a lot on there? Um, I do. I usually use, because on Instagram, you can share to Twitter and Twitter, Twitter okay. and Facebook. Uh -huh. um, so I tend to use Instagram to then share two or three. Okay, yeah. So then I've got, like, all three different audiences getting the content yeah no that's really good i um <clears throat> i think it was when i was actually studying at university um we spoke about let me let me see if i can find like a little visual for it we spoke about kind of like um the different social media like voices on different platforms so it was kind of like oh i need to find something that explains it because i know i'm just going to be absolutely diabolical explaining it <laughs> Um, oh no, but I'm going to try and find something for you guys, but it was basically like, um, so on different platforms, you almost speak differently to like a different, um, a different audience. Like Facebook is more like how you're feeling. Um, Twitter was more like of a, a statement. So you're like, this is this is what I think or like, oh man, I'm going to have to find you guys someone and send it. But yeah, it was basically like the different voices or different ways that people express their emotions and feelings over different platforms. Um, so I think it would be good if you could kind of like utilize the general kind of, I don't know, feelings towards each form of social media. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to find you guys a visual because it's only just sprung to my mind, but it'd be quite good to try and, almost hit every market but in a different way like each platform but in a different tone and see how they performed against each other um but yeah i will i will definitely find something and send it over because my google pictures are not doing anything for me right now uh, and we've just had ellie jump off her little one's probably getting upset um alicia Alicia jumped off a while ago. Ellie jumped off a while ago. <laughs> oh, did she? Oh, man, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> both girls, like, signed up within, like, a like a few days of each other, and I'm like, Ellie, Alicia, Alicia, Ellie. <laughs> At one point, me and, um, me and Adam had two Matts come in and two Joes, and we were just like, no idea. No <laughs> idea right now. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, so Jess, I do think kind of like spreading yourself across all the platforms. Um, something I I don't really use, but I have set up is um, I always had a LinkedIn anyway, but I just made sure that kind of like my um, like work information, everything was up to date on there in case in a blue moon, anyone ever kind of messaged. Um, but yeah, so I've also got a LinkedIn. Again, don't really do much on there, but you never know. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've got a LinkedIn. haven't used it in like, I don't know, mm -hmm. like three, four years or something. Yeah. It needs updating. And I have just started using, I think it was yesterday, Google Plus. Have you? I don't use yeah. Google Plus. You use Google Plus. I have done in the past, but it's just a shit Facebook. Oh, is it? It I is. No it pretty, it pretty much is. But I thought, well, might as well, since I'm doing everything else. 
yeah i think adam's just started putting in um google plus as like a alternative social media network tidy mark yeah it is that's all it is it's mm. google's version of facebook that never took off mm. but yeah it's could be an untapped market advertising on there could be quite cheap you have to asked advertise us. with uh, adwords which isn't very cheap anymore oh no try that back <laughs> well i do use that um is it on the one of the modules that says to use union metrics possibly or I might have heard that somewhere else on some other thing that a video i was watching but it just sort of looks at all of your like posts and stuff on all of your media sort of outlets and sees which is performing better ah union metrics yeah I haven't had that before, Jess. Cheers. So, that's fine. <clears throat> there was another one as well that I've been using, but I can't remember. Mm. I just get emails like from left, right and centre saying, oh, you're going to have a look at this again? And I'm like, um, yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. All those emails where they say, we miss you. <laughs> just, I've just literally signed up to so many different things. I've got a Bitly account as well. Um, just for you know personalized links because why mm. not yeah all kinds of stuff you're getting your uh hand into many many pies yeah and obviously i've got my do my do daddy my, my do daddy do account <laughs> you might be onto um, a rebranding there jess <laughs> uh, yeah definitely um and i put off of them i purchased um search engine boosting as well so if anyone searches for stuff then my I'll so get chucked in there a little bit further. Off the list ah, as well. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Why not? <laughs> it was only like one ninety nine extra, so I thought, well, why not? <laughs> we'll go for it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, generally, I know Jess. You do this very well, anyway. Um, you're very good at kind of like putting yourself out there and just kind of like being yourself online. Um being quite open with your posts um yeah so anyone that's kind of like catching the replay or anything um definitely go and check out jessica's fan page um ali i know we discussed kind of getting yours up and running as well um and the importance of kind of like just literally being yourself um it sounds crazy but if you kind of me and ali were speaking yesterday and we were saying that if you put like a quote picture or if you put like a quote over a picture of you or like you in the park or you with family or friends or anything like that, if you put a quote over it or a quote kind of in the text, that will be received better than just like a plain picture with a quote on. Um, because that's you, that's real life. That's kind of like what's happening there and then. Um, so yeah, I definitely think kind of like putting yourself out there as much as you can um, is in everyone's kind of benefit and i've just got down here like you can share other people's posts onto your fan page so the likes of tr tony robbins gv gary v uh tl ty lopez um and then like instagram posts obviously um you can share from your instagram to facebook you can't do it backwards um but yeah you can share from your instagram to facebook and also just generally, if there are like quotes pages that you follow or anything that you generally find interesting on Instagram, just screenshot it and post it. <laughs> um, and then everybody, oh, we've still got PQ on there. Need to change that. Everyone in CEO, um, you can kind of like adapt and use their posts. I'm sure that everyone's more than happy for everyone to do that. Um, inspirational quotes and pictures again um really good but just definitely kind of like put your own spin on it whether it's like a massive paragraph of text of how this this picture or this quote made you feel or whether you end up putting like a quote just over one of your pictures um yeah and go lives how are we finding go lives i think jess you've have you done two one yeah. two I know I've definitely done one. I know you've definitely done one. Don't know what's making me think two. <laughs> There's a chance I might have done another, but I tend to phase these things out. It's uh, traumatising. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
how are you generally feeling towards them? Like, do you like them? Do you not? Are you scared of them? Well, they are kind of scary, aren't they? I mean, I, I have done, it wasn't a, a go live. I did do a video the other day. I haven't posted it yet. Uh -huh. um, and it was just me walking down the street talking to my phone. And the amount of looks I got was the funniest thing. And I did start telling my phone that I'm getting looks. Look, it's funny yeah. it's getting looks. Um, but it was because I'd literally, I'd gone out to the shops without any makeup on and I thought, well, I might as well tell my phone about it. Yeah. <laughs> so I did, but I haven't posted it yet because, well, I actually forgot that day to do it. But yeah, it's reminding me to post it. So oh, I'll write that down about posting it. <laughs> um, I, it took me quite a long time to actually do a go live outside. Like my my quite a few of my go lives just tend to be kind of like in this position in my house <laughs> looking at the laptop, um. But yeah, I, I think my very well my very first outside go live was when I met up with Ryan and um Ryan Adam and Richard in Budapest, and we'd gone out one day and we were just like by the Parliament building, and Ryan was like, right, we're all doing go lives today, and because me Adam and Richard weren't very like active or confident in doing go lives at that point this was like november-ish december um and yeah we were just like okay and he was like right come on everyone take it in turns we're all doing go lives and um i was like oh my god and i was just like wandering around by this parliament building you've got all these like tourists like i'm getting in the way of their pictures they're getting annoyed with me and um i was like i want to die and like as soon as i pressed it and like finished the go live I had no idea what I said like no clue because <laughs> I was just talking <laughs> um so that was my first one and it was quite funny because the thing with a go live is you can't really script it like you can give yourself bullet points you can remind yourself like my second outside go live I had a piece of paper with me so I had like little bullet points of what I wanted to kind of touch on but um that first one i remember i went oh look here's the parliament building and as i turned around it was just a massive christmas tree and i was like oh christmas tree and then i spun around i'm like here's the parliament building and i was like why are you so silly um but yeah so but then again like all that does is it just shows people that you're human that you're real that you're not this kind of like perfect fit in the box mold of a marketer which most people don't like anyway because they just feel that marketers are too pushy or kind of know-it-alls or whatever. So you want to be as human as you can. Um, but yeah, so outside go lives, you will always get stares and looks. My second outside go live was um, I took the dog for a walk and I'd been planning to do it anyway. So I had like my little notes with me. I had a selfie stick. I had my earphones. I was all set. And um there was I was in the park so there was people like walking their dogs and like they'd stand pretty much like in front of me like staring at me and I was like talking like thinking go away like trying to give them like crazy eyes if to say like go away <laughs> but like they didn't get the message but I was still just like really guys <laughs> um but people do find it really really intriguing I think the good thing is <clears throat> with kind of like the increase of FaceTime and people generally just walking around on their phones, looking at actual people, most people will think you're just on FaceTime or something. Um, it's when you whip a selfie stick out and you're talking to your phone for like <laughs> however long <laughs> and obviously no one's responding. Um, <laughs> but it's just, it's just that little bit of fear that you just need to kind of like step over that barrier. Um, and as soon as kind of you've done it, three or four times it gets easier and easier but it's just doing it <laughs> um but yeah the only thing i'd say jess in terms of like go lives is just don't try not to leave it too long my very first go live um was like 20 seconds long and then i waited like four months before i done another one <laughs> and then that one was a few minutes and then i waited another four months before i done another one um and the, it's literally like the longer you wait, the worse it is to do it again. Because you're like, people have already seen me, so they expect me to be better, but I'm probably going to be worse because I've waited even longer. And now I'm more nervous because I know more, so I'm supposed to be saying more. <laughs> um, so definitely just kind of like try and get yourself into a little bit of a routine. 
even if it's like one or two a month, just so that kind of like you're doing them every now and then. Um, and yeah, just see how you feel. Ali, I know we spoke about kind of like having a big calendar. Maybe that's something you can kind of plan into um, like each month, like a go live kind of midway through the month or at the end of the month. Yeah, it was, it was interesting because I did my first one on my like personal Facebook page and didn't find that too bad. But the thought of actually posting it in the CEO movement group is a bit like I just haven't done that. My other two are in the 30 day fast track. And then when Nate said about like everybody joining the group, it kind of like, I don't know, it kind of knocked me again. Yeah. It was weird, like, because a lot of people don't like to uh, do it on their actual Facebook personal yeah. page. But I didn't have such a problem with doing it that way. I was doing it in front of everybody in the community that I found more intimidating. Mm. Yeah, it's very interesting, actually, because I, I personally find go lives within the community easier than on my personal page. Um, but I think it just depends kind of like who you have on your personal account. So like I've got people from like over 10 years from school, college, uni, four jobs or whatever, traveling the world. And like it's such a collection of people that I'm like, how are they going to receive this? Um, but yeah, so it definitely kind of like, it depends on um, who you've got around you, I think. Um, I personally yeah, found like doing one in the community easier because I was like, right, these guys are all at some point going to do or have done a go live. So they know exactly how I feel. Um, and it doesn't really matter what I say at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely kind of like, like I always say to people when they're like, oh, why should I go do a go live? Where should I do it? What should I say? I always just say like, wherever you are most comfortable, do it there. Um, again, Ali, like whether that is your personal page, whether it's your fan page, whether it's kind of the community, um, just where, wherever you're most comfortable, because otherwise you'll start freaking out and you're probably already freaking out. So we don't need more freak out. <laughs> the less freak out, the better. <laughs> Um, there we go oh god I'm breaking it again right guys I'll jump out of that um, there we are um, so that's kind of like the end of the presentation Alicia there is a record and if you want to kind of catch up on the little bits um, you can do any questions anyone any questions at all sorry my daughter woke up sorry oh no it's absolutely fine i said to these guys when you disappeared i was like oh i think the baby's awake <laughs> yeah she's just not sleeping at all oh bless her mm. um uh da, 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 what was i gonna say i would ask what is the difference like between what we should post obviously i understand that like if we've got a question post it in the 30 for day fast track but like aside from that sort of stuff what is the difference between what we should post in each group does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Um, basically, uh, the kind of CEO movement official page, um, they like kind of try and like to keep a little bit tidy for when everyone comes in. So it tends to just be kind of like welcome, um, go lives and just kind of like progress within the community, not just general kind of like, like my fan page and kind of any just random questions. Um, before the questions used to just go into kind of the UK groups that we had. Um, but yeah, so normally the questions would all get asked in messenger groups, but basically the CEO movement official page is just kind of going to be kept more tidy. And um, just as I say, welcomes, congratulations, um, go lives and masterminds. And then any like literal random questions that you have, uh, because there's not going to be anywhere that's a closed messenger group. Uh, just even like search them in the 30 day support group, uh, fast track support group, or just kind of pop them on the newsfeed to just write a comment on there. And then everyone will be able to comment back to you. Uh, so it would essentially like opening your own messenger every time you have a question and just like having that chat as your personal kind of like, I don't know, link to all the answers that you need, uh, which will be good because then people like 
I tend to find as well in the messenger groups, someone will ask a question, one person will answer it, and then somebody else will ask another question. And the person's question before just gets completely ignored then because everyone's answering like different questions throughout. And so it'll be good because it'll literally be like that area for that question and people won't be able to like spin off into other little kind of like thought processes and stuff. Um, On the other hand, just make sure that anyone kind of like that you see on these masterminds that you guys kind of like connect with or want to speak to just kind of create your own little groups to kind of have catch-ups and chats or mini masterminds if you guys have got time um just because yeah you don't want to lose that kind of like community feel every kind of coach or leader will have a group chat for people underneath them anyway so for us guys on here alicia you'll be in kind of mine and tom's group jess obviously you'll be in adam's group oliver you'll be in ryan's group so <clears throat> Like, for instance, I don't know, me, Ollie, we keep in contact quite a lot anyway. So although we're not in, like, the same group, just don't feel like you're restricted to that group of people. Like, you guys are free to kind of discuss and connect as you want. And please, it's just that that one set group won't be available anymore. And it is purely just because now they max out at 250 people. So at this point, we can't really add any, like, the new people coming in. And... Then, I don't know, if you start creating like two, three, four UK group chats, it just gets insane. So um, the easiest option is just to kind of cut the group chats on Messenger and just kind of like get everyone to write on the 30-day Fast Track and Support group um, page. Does that clear that up, mate? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, Anything else? Um, Since I started, I've had a few people add me already on facebook fair enough people that are part of the group Uh and then i've had other people who aren't even a part of the group adding me i'm like who are you i don't know how it happens if i'm completely honest um you get all kinds of men and women from across the globe adding you um what i (laughs) look at literally these guys just waiting themselves laughing because we've all been through it Um, okay like (laughs) literally two weeks ago i had someone asking me for like an interracial marriage so yeah Uh, (laughs) you'll get all kinds of jazz (coughs) jess has had people ringing her at like two three o'clock in the morning wow Um, i'm I'm now going to india apparently so it's fine yeah she's going to india (laughs) brilliant Um, (laughs) i keep getting these ones that they're all suspiciously of richard barker in common (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, he's sort of like weird I girl. think Rich just accepts he's just like yeah okay whatever <laughs> and my girlfriend's like if one more PQ1 person asks me as a friend <laughs> yeah literally like my best friend has had people adding her boyfriend and she's like how do they even know Steve how have they found him and I'm like I have no idea oh, mate yeah. to be honest with you because it's not even like I tag her boyfriend in anything so she's like mm-hmm. what is going on <laughs> I was like, I've had messages as well. Of like, yesterday I had a message of a girl asking for me to like give her tips and stuff, but she's not part of the group, so I don't know if she's like trying to like get info outside yeah. the group. I don't know. Like just either just yeah. end the chat and delete them, or just ignore them and delete them. Yeah, yeah. I marked her as spam. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> um, unless you think they're genuinely like, but at the minute you haven't even got a fan page set up yet, have you? <laughs> no, no, so. Yeah, I'd literally just, like, ignore them for now. Um, once you've got a fan page up and running, maybe, like, engage in a bit of conversation, like, f- with you, for instance, Alicia. Um, mm-hmm. When you messaged me, I was literally kind of like, how has she found me? Because <laughs> I was like, I have never seen this like, anywhere before in my entire life. <laughs> um, so, like, you will get people message you that, like, you feel like you've never had any kind of interaction with yeah so it's good to kind of like still engage and have a conversation with them because you never know what could come of it but if they get crazy and ask you to go to india or to marry them or <laughs> whatever else is coming up <laughs> oh yeah oh my god i had someone the other day pestering me saying um i'm on my tablet please just send me a picture of your face can i have a face know. selfie and i was like no <laughs> and he just carried on and carried on and carried on and i sat with my mum and tom and uh my mum was like just say to him my boyfriend thinks my face is nice as well 
um but yeah so the first thing i do is when you go on to kind of the ceo movement page uh, especially on your mobile in the top blue bar you can search so yeah. i normally search in the group see if that name comes up if the name doesn't come up um and they seem sane i'll message them <laughs> and just say like oh how have you kind of like found me or um what have you seen to like come across my page or whatever or i'd ask them some kind of question to gauge how they found me in the online world um and I'm then glad you were saying. <laughs> yeah yeah you were saying so as well <laughs> um but yeah so i'll kind of gauge it kind of gauge the conversation see where they found me i think you said that you saw an app like an ad and it said to contact me so i was like okay this sounds normal uh, <laughs> um but yeah so definitely try and gauge whether they're a normal person or not and then if not just kind of like literally straight up block and delete because otherwise you sometimes like i've given people a chance and i'm like oh maybe like maybe they would be interested yeah. though and i'm like oh, okay i'll speak to you for a little bit and then they just get crazier and crazier so i'd recommend just mm -hmm. straight blocking and deleting yeah some people message you and be like oh do you want to join these aloe vera creams and i'm like no one okay. of the classics is um, <laughs> if you want to join like a a group where people everyone buys each other's products and stuff to boost sales, so mm. they're common ones. Mm. And also, advertising agencies seem to be common mm. for me at the moment, where they always ask me if they, if I want to outsource my advertising to them. Well, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, all that kind of jazz. Because yeah, they're not allowed to advertise anymore. Yeah, so they're not allowed to advertise anymore. Oh, okay. Um, I think I prefer that over what I keep getting. To be fair, <laughs> yeah. Guess it's like anything yeah. with context or content. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm just constantly like, "Are you single?" I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm engaged." And it's like, "Okay, well, how about you just like come to India anyway?" And I'm like, "No, come no, on." No, no, please stop. Um, yeah. Sometimes, what as well as a female within the community, what I tend to do is. Um, some people you'll go on and they'll have when you kind of get like more kind of friends within the community as well you're going like, getting people adding you all over the place you'll tend to find that I'll have like 30 of the girls from CEO in common <clears throat> and if I see that even if it's like five girls I'm like you're only adding girls no <laughs> somehow you found a like picture that we've all commented on and you're just adding every one of us so no <laughs> um so yeah if someone hasn't got at least i normally say at least like three to five guys from the community as a mutual friend i don't even accept because i'm just like nah <laughs> um yeah. but yeah it's definitely something to be aware of um <laughs> just yeah just block and delete uh adam invites me to watch mitch's go live if anyone wants to yeah, watch that. Just got that. <laughs> my story before working online mitch weeks um but yeah guys um any other questions at all if not we can all hop off and watch mitch's go live <laughs> i've already hopped off and watching mitch's go live <laughs> 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 communal go live for mitch <laughs> right then guys um I'll catch you all tomorrow. I have no idea what we're going to do yet. Um, I'm sure me and Adam will bash our brains together and sort some out. Um, but yeah, any questions or anything in between, let me know. Alicia, I will speak to you at 11 a.m. Speak to you then. Um, but yeah, okay, guys, I'll catch you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>